Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias St. York and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Wednesday, November 1st, 2023, and here are the readings for today. Today's epistle reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 27 through 31, and chapter 13, verses 1 through 8. Brethren, you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then workers of miracles, then healers, helpers, administrators, speakers in various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret, but earnestly desire the higher gifts? and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 1, and verses 5 through 8. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus called to him his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every infirmity. These twelve Jesus sent out, charging them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and preach as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You received without paying, give without pay. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Today in the Orthodox Church, we remember the holy unmercenary healers Cosmos and Damien of Mesopotamia. This is a story of their lives from the website of the Orthodox Church in America. The holy wonder workers and unmercenary physicians Cosmos and Damien and their mother, St. Theodota, were natives of Asia Minor or Mesopotamia. Their pagan father died while they were still quite small children. Their mother raised them in Christian piety. Through her own example and by reading holy books to them, St. Theodota preserved her children in purity of life according to the command of the Lord. And Cosmos and Damien grew up into righteous and virtuous men. Trained and skilled as physicians, they received from the Holy Spirit the gift of healing people's illnesses of body and soul by the power of prayer. They even treated animals with fervent love for both God and neighbor. They never took payment for their services. They strictly observed the command of our Lord Jesus Christ. Freely you have received, freely give, which is found in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 8. The fame of St. Cosmas and Damien spread throughout all the surrounding region, and people called them unmercenary physicians, again, because they don't charge money. Once, the saints were summoned to a grievously ill woman named Palida, whom all the doctors had refused to treat because of her seemingly hopeless condition. And through faith and through the fervent prayer of the holy brothers, the Lord healed the deadly disease and Palladia, got up from her bed perfectly healthy and giving praise to God. In gratitude for being healed and wishing to give them a small gift, Palladia went quietly to Damien. She presented it with three eggs and said, Take this small gift in the name of the holy, life-creating Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hearing the name of the Holy Trinity, the unmercenary one did not dare to refuse. When St. Cosmas had learned what had happened, he became very sad, for he thought that his brother had broken their strict vow. 
On his deathbed, he gave instructions that his brother should not be buried beside him. St. Damien died shortly afterward, and everyone wondered where St. Damien's grave should be. But through the will of God, a miracle occurred. A camel, which the saints had treated for its wildness, spoke with a human voice, saying that they should have no doubts about whether to place Damien beside Cosmos, because Damien did not accept the eggs from the woman as payment, but out of the respect for the name of God. The venerable relics of the Holy Brothers were buried together at Theramon, which is found again in Mesopotamia. Many miracles were worked after the death of the Holy Mercenaries. There lived in Theramon, near the church of St. Cosmas and Damien, a certain man named Malchus. One day he went on a journey, leaving his wife all alone for what would be a long time. He prayerfully entrusted her to the heavenly protection of the Holy Brothers. But the enemy of the race of mankind took an appearance of one of Malchus's friends and planned to kill the woman. A certain time went by, and this man went to her home and said that Malchus had sent him to bring her to him. The woman believed him and went along. He led her to a solitary place, intending to kill her. The woman, seeing that disaster threatened her, called upon God with deep faith. Two fearsome men then appeared, and the devil let go of the woman and fled, falling off a cliff. The two men led the woman home. At her own home, bowing to them deeply, she asked my rescuers, To whom shall I be grateful to the end of my days? What are your names? They replied, We are the servants of Christ, Cosmos, and Damien, and became invisible. The woman, with trembling and with joy, told everyone about what had happened to her. Glorifying God, she went up to the icon of the Holy Brothers and tearfully offered prayers of St. Gaving for her deliverance. And from that time, the Holy Brothers were venerated as protectors of the holiness and inviolability of the Christian marriage, as well as givers of harmony to conjugal life. From ancient times, their veneration also has spread to the Holy Land of Russia. Through their holy prayers and intercessions, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.